that was a real situation. That that was that was real smoke right there. And everybody that was on the label, they felt that, bro. They felt that because Rocky I have a have a booking. Call us, yeah, we gonna catch his ass. Lacking the day, we want that MMG chain. So me and four them had to pull up. One day I went to jail. I go to jail to, at the last show. Call us, say shit about to go down. So we push up and we put Rocky in our car. Rocky getting there, you feel me? It's a bunch of get the guys in there. We got so many guns in the car. Rocky like, damn, he wasn't even trying to be in the car. But police pull up, so I hop out the car. They end up taking me to jail, so all that type of stuff. I was able to get off all that little jam because the guys had bailed out the car. Rocky bailed out with them, you feel me? So Rocky went this way, they went that way. So I just stayed there with the whip. And then, because I ain't had no license or nothing like that. I wasn't supposed to be driving, but I only popped out because they was, I knew they were trying to catch my mans. And Rocky, my real brother, though, like, you feel me? Like, I would come out with him even if he's not paying me. So like, that was a real situation. That was, that was real. And a lot of the older GDs that I know say that Ross paid, so I don't know. I can't verify, but that's what I heard. And why would they lie? But for dude to go in court and testify that Ross paid three million, you think he gonna lie under oath? You think he lie under oath? You lie under oath? Knowing they come with perjury? Would probably like I probably would just be like I don't know anything. Fact, but you know he trying to right. Well, that I mean his situation is different. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I right. wouldn't say anything. But you know if he's if he's already agreed to cooperate, of course he's not gonna lie. Hell no, nah, bro. Because then now your deal gonna get voided. Now you finna get max time. Ain't nobody trying to get max time. What about Jeezy? I've been around Jeezy a couple times. He's very scary. Yeah, he a real scary guy. Like, I like his music and stuff like that. But like, I don't look at him as nobody that's a gangster or nothing like that. That's a rapper. Like, I don't really think he was doing the things he was saying like that. It's a rapper guy. What about Gucci Man? Man, he a real gangster for sure though. Cause uh, one time, I had got a call because he had barricaded himself in a hotel room. He barricaded himself in the hotel room, the promoter trying to get their back end back. At this time, I guess the Molly was beating him. <laughs> he was getting wild with everybody. So I guess he said he wasn't paying nobody nothing. So like a couple guys that called me like, man, you would take some money to help us get Gucci out this hotel room. I'm like, bro, he gon' he gonna pop us, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm not finna get shot with y'all, bro. Like, we finna kick down his door. He gonna blow us down. Y'all crazy? Like, bro, I'm not on no crash out missions, bro. You feel me? Like, and then at the same time, he in Chicago, bro. He know how to move in Chicago, bro. Because he already had other Chicago guys with him. There was some guys from out west, I think. He already had Chicago guys with him. And in Chicago, bro, you got to be smooth. Because, like, you know, you might be cool with them. That back door will get left open thinking you cool with somebody, bro. So, like, yeah. Everything you hear well, about Gucci down there, Did he there get in a fight at a mall with somebody or something? He got in a fight at a couple malls. He definitely beat up somebody in Chicago at a mall. For sure. A fan, too, who was trying to play with him. He knocked him out at the mall. I think it was Forest City. He knocked out a fan at Forest City Mall, for sure. That's a fact. I know about that firsthand. And so, Gucci Man was in there just, just wilding out, not... So, look, but anybody who know, bro... If you popping pills, staying up all night drinking liquor, bro, that second or third day, you finna go crazy, bro. You feel me? That second or third day, anything goes now. Like, you finna start wilding out on everybody. Like, he buried, a, he, I know he barricaded himself in the hotel room, bro, for sure, bro. And he was trying to get him to pay that money. He did not pay that money, bro. He ended up getting up out of there and getting locked up because he had drove to Chicago in a, in a Hummer from Atlanta. He drove in a Hummer on like 28s. You know how crazy that is? You driving from the A to Chicago on a Hummer on 28s? So you can have your pipe with you. You're not finna fly. You gotta have your pipe. So I'm like, man, yeah, we got his Hummer surrounded. He not coming out. He just gonna blow y'all ass down. 
I avoided that jam. Damn. I avoided that one for sure. Was that your only interaction with Gucci? I had seen him other times before that because one of my guys was his bodyguard when he came in Chicago. My homie, uh, I ain't going to say his name because uh, he got like, a little federal case going on right now. But anybody know, big bro with the blonde hair, he got the, the shamrock on his neck. Anybody in the field know who I'm talking about. You feel me? So, you know, ain't no mystery in Gucci history, bro. You know, he like Michael Jackson in the city for sure. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.